Hi, hello, and welcome. I thought we'd go over my Etcher field case today, and I'd show you what I keep in it, what works for me, and maybe a few things that actually don't work for me. And I do keep this little clipboard and some cut up arched paper in the front pocket here. This strap is pretty cool because you can hang it this way, you know, from your shoulder. You can also swap out the strap here and you can do it this way this is the way i usually carry it more like a handbag purse or you can also strap it on um a belt of some sort if you wear that kind of thing so completely adjustable as well right any size you want it any length it goes super long you can go nice and snug up on your body and so it's it's like a firm, it's a firmer case, so it's not super soft. And it's uh, waterproof and the zipper seals up really nicely. And it's gone to Costa Rica with me. It's gone to countless beaches and field trips and camping. It goes to a lot of places with me. So this is what I currently have in it. Um, I have my travel water cup. I have magnets of all different sizes. This is the one we got on our Costa Rica trip. And then I have my other ones. And so what this works well for, something like this, you could clip your magnets here. You could also do it on the small, a small one like this, if, especially if you, you know, didn't have space. You can clip it like that. And let me show you. Um, I love my art toolkit. So this is the extra field case, and this is the art toolkit. Um, and this is how this would work. And so you have your piece of paper here and now you have a free spot and you can also clip your water over here on the side. This would be definitely tiny work and you know, I work in tiny bits so that would work for me. Might not work for everybody. And then I also have a bigger one because I love our toolkits. And so this one is also one that went to Costa Rica with me. Both of these did, and between the two, you get a really large, a large base. So if you're dealing with humidity, all you wanna do is put like a little piece of parchment paper over top here so they don't stick to the lid. Um, I did have some problems sticking to the lid. My own fault, um, I didn't realize humidity would do that and I went to pull them off. So don't do that. You'll just wanna use some parchment there. Um, yeah, I keep mine really messy. <laughs> I could clean that up before I go next time. Okay, so we have those two. Um, right now, I only have one paintbrush, and this is actually from Whiskey Painters, the same place that I have my little water cup from. This thing seals right up, never ever leaks on me. I'm hoping it never does. I only have one from them. Um, and this little brush is just a nice round, nice tip on there. I also usually have at least three to five Tintorettos in here. The ones I usually typically take are um, they all got washed after Costa Rica, so they ended back on here. And so I would probably just grab out, let's see. Um, I do love all these brushes. I'd probably grab all these and maybe a 1329. That's a very fine one. Maybe bring that. Would I want my eight? Um, might leave my eight here for now. And maybe take one dagger style-ish brush and let's go with the oh nope nope that's a little much for me let's see is that the 1338 1397 i could probably take this one and play with it and see so if you do that i just need to get clean water and just kind of reshape it and then put it back in don't try to you know, see the brushes the bristles keep trying to escape on me. You definitely don't want those hooked. So I go really slowly and make sure nothing's out of place. There we go. And so I think I would take probably those four. I usually grab either a Maple Valley or a Escoda and bring that to. I like to have an assortment. Um, you know, whatever works for you. There's one of my Escodas. Let's go with the size six. All right, and you know, you can change those up and mix them up. You don't always have to take the same ones with you. Which one's this? This is, oh yeah, it's a nice one. 
Okay, so I typically put these right in here and I'll show you how I do those when I put those back in. I do wish this fit inside here, but it doesn't. I could hunt around for one that fit. Um, uh, this was a little palette I got in Costa Rica. It just has three, four, four colors in there. Um, it ended up in there after our trip. I keep a fine liner and a pencil. I keep some more scrap pieces of paper. Um, I think this is blue pine paper. This is um, Leather Village. And these are more for squatch, squatches, swatches. And then I keep a little spray bottle. This came in so handy in Costa Rica. And I keep a little gum eraser. Um, and then I keep a ruler. Um, I did throw this in there for Costa Rica. I did not end up using it. I thought it could work as a, as a wash brush. Again, I didn't end up using it. So um, this is actually, it's an angled. I feel like it might be angled. It is an angled brush. I feel like this could still come in handy. Um, I wouldn't not put this in, but I don't love these kind of brushes in general, but I feel like they could come in handy. Okay, so there it is without anything in it. I'm gonna show you a couple features it has. So it has this deep pocket and it goes really far down in, all the way down. Um, I don't have anything in it. I don't even know why it's open. I'm not sure what I would use that pocket for because anything you add in there is gonna, you know, protrude out so maybe something thin maybe if I got a plexiglass that was potentially smaller no it would have to be pretty darn small wouldn't it yeah okay um I could potentially slide my my paint palettes in there I suppose I wonder how that would work I feel like it's gonna add too much um bulk to it but I could have it there. And there's another pocket on this side. Same deal. Um, I could slide those in there and see how that works for me. I've never used it that way. Um, there's two little pockets here. These elastics have double elastic. So it's like front, 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 and then an under, under one as well. Um, this top one does not have that. So this is how I pack it back up. Put my pens there. I'm gonna put my pencils there. I like my ruler on this other side. Just slide that in. Um, I don't typically keep this in here, but for sake of maybe giving it a try, uh, my water goes right in the middle there. My eraser just kind of gets shoved in there. Kind of smush it down because it's, again, it's that moldable type. Um, all my, put my two rounds there and then my two or three, three mops in my dagger. I'm gonna add in with that. My scratch swatch papers, I will put there. I'm gonna leave this out because <clears throat> it's part of a different set of things, I think. I'm not going to include in this one. Um, I'm also probably not gonna use this large one right now. I think I'll just use my traditional three. So I'll put those in there and I'll put my little water thing in. And again, my paints are under here, so they're usually out. So let's see how this closes. Oh wow, it closes. It might even close better than before and there are zippers from both sides okay that is super thin okay so now that I have thinking um, I wonder maybe I want to bring a tiny tin of metallics I could potentially put that down here just to have some sparkle um, and I'm still free with more space so potentially is throw say my Viviva color sheets in there, which mm, it starts to get a little more, a little more tight. Um, my water bottle seems to be, so you just kind of have to <clears throat> see what works with the height of what's going on. So maybe switching out this eraser with this water bottle and then putting this eraser, say in the middle. Um, and then again, just kind of playing with once you close it, what sandwiches together the best and so, there we go maybe you don't need you know six brushes and or this this brush either we could eliminate that right take that out we could also slim down on if you don't use the magnets you could get rid of the magnets you don't have to have shimmers in there so you just want to fine tune it to how you like it and what you like inside yours and i think that's really about it. It really is um, something I love. I brought this everywhere we went in Costa Rica. I just threw it in my backpack. 
I often didn't even put it on my shoulder. I just threw it in my backpack and had it there. And it was awesome. I used it on the airplane, coming home and going there. Um, it was it was perfect. So I highly recommend this and fitting it the way that works best for you. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you next time. Bye.